Do you want results next time you go trout fishing? Get yourself a set of trigger spoons and put a limit on the stringer. They flat out produce. A gold speedy shiner to start the day. Um, I'm gonna be trolling at about two and a half to three miles an hour. And on my spinning rod, I'm gonna be running a jointed number nine rainbow pattern Rapala. We'll make our first pass with these lures and see what we can do. Um, we'll be aggressive and see if, uh, see if there's any hungry trout out here. This lake hasn't been fished much, it just opened up. So, got my fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. fast. Couldn't even get the Rapala in the water. Wow. Speedy Shiner, man. He can produce quick action. Let's see what we got here. Oh, well, it looks like a nice rainbow. Woo! Ha he's feisty. Oh yeah, right there. Nice rainbow. Beautiful fish. Speed spoons. Troll them, cast them, or jig them. If you want to get aggressive with trout, get a set of Kel Kellogg speed spoons and get your fish on. Available at the fishhuntshoot.com website. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. With these warm, dry conditions we've been having, trout season's gonna get off to an early start. And as a result, um, I've been spending a lot of time talking about the basics of trout trolling. Now, for you guys who've been watching the channel for a while, a lot of this stuff is review, but there are plenty of new folks out there and I wanna make sure they are set up for success when they go out looking for trout in 2020. Um, along these lines, last week I did, a, I did a video about my philosophy of speed as it applies to trout trolling, you know. I talked about starting off fast, then, you know, reverting to medium speed lures, and then reverting to slow lures depending on what the fish were showing you on any given day. Well, today I want to talk to you about lure compatibility. It's important that you are using lures, you know, that are compatible to run at the same time at the same speed, okay? I had a guy reached out to me last week that was trolling grubs and some of my trigger spoons, and he was catching fish on grubs, but he said, you know, I'm not catching anything on the trigger spoons. Well, that was probably because he was trolling too slow. He was trolling at grub speeds and he was catching fish on grubs, but he wasn't trolling fast enough to really trigger fish on the trigger spoons. So, I got a couple lures in my hand. This is a good example of what I'm talking about. What I have here in this hand, I have a gold Rapala. Fine lure, uh, a real fish catcher. In this, in this hand, I have a gold flatfish. This is also a fine lure and a real trout catcher, but they are not compatible. This Rapala, it needs to be moving along at two and a half to three to three and a half miles an hour to be really effective. Whereas this flatfish, you want to be trolling this little guy at about one mile an hour or it's going to roll and tangle and it's just not going to work properly. So if you're out fishing with your fishing partner, it's important that you guys communicate, talk about what speed you're going to be trolling, and then decide on what kind of lures you're going to be pulling. Here's another example. Here is a, uh, we'll stick with this gold theme. Here's a gold... Um, a gold speed spoon. You know, this is a great spoon for trolling anywhere from 2.7 all the way up to four miles an hour. But uh, here's another spoon. It's a, it's a great trout catcher. It's a wee dick knight. Now this spoon, it's gonna work best at about one to 1 1.5. They're both fine trout lures, but you don't wanna put on one of my speed spoons on one rod and have your partner rig up with a gold wee dick knight on the other rod because your lures aren't compatible. You know, it's all about speed. The, uh, the speed spoon, it would be, you know, a great match for a gold Rapala like that. And, uh, you know, likewise, the, the dick knight, 
the Dick Knight over here would be a great match for this little gold flatfish. So bottom line, make sure when you guys rig up when you're out there with your fishing partner, your wife, or whoever you're fishing with, or even if you're fishing by yourself and you're rigging up two rods, make sure you have, you know, lures that run at compatible speeds. Start off fast. Maybe you want to start off with a speed spoon and a Rapala that doesn't work or maybe it does and then the bite shuts down go down to that medium speed stuff maybe put on a cast master and a cripple lure and troll it 2.2 that's not working you want to troll even slower maybe you want to put on a wee dick knight on one rod and a one inch section of threaded worm on the other rod and troll it one mile an hour just make sure that your lures are compatible in terms of speed and that's going to maximize your chances for success when you're on the water and remember you don't want to waste time on the water you don't want to be trolling one rod with a high speed lure at high speed and have a, a low speed lure on your other rod that's not really fishing it's not producing results you want the maximum amount of time on the water with lures that are running properly and one way you can achieve that is running lures that are compatible at all times anyway i hope that tip helps you i hope it kind of cuts some of the confusion out of lure selection for you i will see you out on the water or more than likely i'll see you here on youtube um, please take a minute to hit that subscribe button um, if you want to get a notification when I'm on here blabbering about fishing, hit that little bell. And uh, I really want to thank you guys for all the support you've been giving the channel. And uh, I am looking forward to 2020. We are going to share some really cool tips, some great catches, hopefully, and stuff like that. And uh, once again, guys, thanks for all the support. And I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. If you're looking for trout gear, you know where to go. Go over to the Fish Hunt Shoot Productions website and check out my store. You have a great day. I will catch you later.